The carbide lamp, also known as an acetylene gas lamp, was invented in the late 19th century. The invention is credited to Edmund Davy, who first discovered acetylene gas in 1836. However, it wasn't until 1892 that Thomas Leopold Wilson in the United States and Henry Moisson in France independently discovered a practical method to produce calcium carbide, which is crucial for the operation of the carbide lamp. The carbide lamp operates on a simple chemical reaction. It uses calcium carbide and water to produce acetylene gas. Here's the basic process. First, the lamp has a chamber that holds water. Another chamber holds calcium carbide. When water drips onto the calcium carbide, it reacts to produce acetylene gas and calcium hydroxide. The chemical equation for this reaction is calcium carbide plus water yields acetylene gas and calcium hydroxide. Finally, the acetylene gas is then directed to a nozzle where it is ignited, producing a bright white flame. Carbide lamps found widespread use in various fields due to their bright light, portability, and relative simplicity. Here are some key areas where they were prominently used. One of the most significant applications of carbide lamps was in mining. Miners used these lamps extensively because they provided a steady and bright light, essential for working underground. The lamps were mounted on helmets or handheld, offering hands-free illumination. The robust nature of the lamp made it suitable for the harsh conditions in mines. Similar to mining, cavers also adopted carbide lamps for their expeditions. The lamp's reliability and the quality of light they provided were crucial for navigating through dark and often dangerous cave systems. Before the advent of electric lights, carbide lamps were used as headlights on bicycles. They provided a consistent and bright beam, which was essential for nighttime riding. Carbide lamps were used in various transportation sectors including railways and ships, for signal lamps and interior lighting. Their ability to operate without electricity made them invaluable in remote locations and on vessels. In the early 20th century, carbide lamps were also used in theater productions for spotlights and special effects due to their intense and focused light. Advantages Carbide lamps produce a very bright white light which was superior to many other portable lighting options available at the time. The design of carbide lamps made them easy to carry and use in various settings. The chemical reaction that powers the lamp is straightforward, requiring only calcium carbide and water. These lamps were known for their reliability, especially in environments where other light sources might fail. Disadvantages The production of acetylene gas is flammable and can be dangerous if not handled properly. Explosions and burns were risks associated with the use of carbide lamps. The lamps required regular maintenance to ensure the proper flow of water and removal of spent carbide, which could be a hassle in some situations. The combustion of acetylene gas produces a distinctive odor, which could be unpleasant in confined spaces. Decline and Legacy The use of carbide lamps began to decline with the advent of electric lighting, which offered greater safety and convenience. By the mid-20th century, electric lights had largely replaced carbide lamps in most applications. However, carbide lamps are still used today by some cavers and hobbyists who appreciate their historical significance and reliability in certain conditions. The carbide lamp remains an important historical artifact, symbolizing a key development in the evolution of portable lighting technology. Its invention and widespread use highlight the innovative spirit of the late 19th and early 20th centuries bridging the gap between simple oil lamps and modern electric lights. If you like the video, please like and subscribe to the channel.